Now, horror is one of the most versatile topics in fictional media. You can blend it with any other genre and still manage to retain its core function, which is of course to scare audiences. As an art form, video games have embraced horror, creating some genuine masterpieces like the early Silent Hill and Resident Evil games. And though those franchises have gone on to influence a series of bad clones, they've also impacted titles that don't fall under the horror banner. Because of this, we at Flickering Myth have decided to look at five terrifying moments seen in non-horror games. As always, be warned that spoilers will be discussed for the following titles. Now at number five is the Talos Principle, the charging robot. What does it mean to be human? This is the question that lies at the heart of the Talos Principle, a puzzle title created by Crotey. The story follows an android's attempt at achieving sentience in a virtual world overseen by an AI deity named Elohim. Most of the game involves the player moving around lifeless environments while solving puzzle rooms located everywhere. Similar to Shadow of the Colossus, there are no other NPCs, leaving you alone for the majority of the game. Now this remains the case until you complete a level aptly titled Road to Death. In exiting the area, another robot spontaneously appears out of nowhere and charges at you, all while screaming like a character out of Serious Sam. Now, as there's no combat system, you're left completely vulnerable before Elohim dissipates the being. Now, though only lasting a few seconds, it was an absolutely terrifying moment in a video game otherwise built around philosophical discussions. Number four, Call of Duty Black Ops The Tunnel. The Call of Duty has always been known for its cinematic inspired moments, harkening back to its World War II roots that paid homage to movies like Das Boot. Treyarch's Black Ops was no exception to this rule, with its plot being a blatant amalgamation of movies like The Manchurian Candidate, Apocalypse Now and The Deer Hunter. But still, credit where credit's due, the game had one of the scarier moments experienced in an action shooter. In the ninth chapter, Victor Charlie, being protagonist Alex Mason, is charged with clearing out a rat tunnel used by the Viet Cong. Going into this claustrophobic area with just a flashlight and pistol is tense enough as it is, but things get more frightening when your only comrade is killed right in front of you. Mason, you gotta keep your shit. Ah! Oh, You're forced to spend the next minute or so moving alone in a compact zone where enemies could pop out at any time. Very well done moment in the COD franchise. Number three, Batman Arkham Asylum. The lunatics are released. Now, while not a horror game in the modern sense, Rocksteady's Batman Arkham Asylum was a title that certainly took inspiration from the genre. From the scarecrow sequences and Killer Croc's lair to the overall sorrow of the madhouse, it was at times truly scary to venture deep into the gloomy catacombs. Now, in spite of all those well-executed scenes, for us, the most terrifying part of the game happened towards the middle. The Joker, in all his mad wisdom, decides to release the asylum's so-called lunatics. Here's a bit of civil unrest I cooked up just for you. <laughs> but beyond simply being crazy, these deranged psychopaths have lost all sense of humanity, resembling beastly creatures with screams that send blood shooting through your veins. The worst part about their presence is how random they could be. One moment, you would be walking down a corridor only for one to spring out of nowhere, ready to cannibalise you if you weren't quick to react. Number two, The Elder Scrolls Oblivion, entering the lighthouse cellar. Now like Arkham Asylum, Bethesda's fourth Elder Scrolls game Oblivion dabbled in the horror and thriller genres from time to time. This significantly helped frame its well-written side quests. Fans will most likely recall the Lovecraftian inspired A Shadow Over Hackdirt, or the phantasm ridden Where the Spirits Have Lease. Now, while both of these were good, for our money, one of the scarier moments occurs late in the Dark Brotherhood storyline, when you are tasked with investigating the traitor of the Brotherhood. Through some hard-boiled investigation, you find out that he has a base of operations in a lighthouse cellar located near the town of Anvil. And despite warnings from the lighthouse keeper, you are ultimately required to enter the basement, only to discover that it is a true hell. Carcasses of animals and humans are strewn everywhere, blood and destroyed furniture occupy the interiors, and opening the only door in the room unleashes a crazed dog desperate to kill you. If that's not enough, an altar dedicated to the decapitated head of the culprit's mother adds the terrifying cherry on top. Number one, a hat in time. Queen Vanessa's Manor. A Hat in Time was a charming platformer developed by Gears for Breakfast in 2017. 
meant to be a throwback to iconic 3D titles like Banjo-Kazooie and Super Mario 64, it was a nostalgic project that coasted on self-aware humour, bright colours and large free roam environments. That was until the fourth area in the game's third chapter, Queen Vanessa's Manor. In this sudden shift to survival horror, the Hat Kid is tasked with retrieving the keys to unlock the attic in a spooky house. Getting those, however, requires the player to constantly avoid an invincible behemoth known as Vanessa, whose booming scream and loud steps echo throughout the house. With your Hat Super abilities disabled, you're left with no choice but to run the heck away whenever she bursts into a room. It was without a doubt one of the most terrifying moments in a game that otherwise had you leaving a marching band and reenacting movies. Now these are our five terrifying moments in non-horror games. But of course, what are some of the titles you've played that you feel had scary bits in them? Post them in the comments below and as always, be sure to subscribe to Flickering Myth for more videos and more commentary. Until the next time, this is Scotty saying thanks for watching, thanks for listening and we'll catch you soon. Bye bye.